There's a lot that can kill a plant on the way to the moon. From launch, you'll see a lot of vibration. You have these giant temperature swings of over plus 100 degrees and less than minus 100 degrees. Solar flares and of course there's radiation too. And that's what takes the team to Lucas Heights nuclear facility to subject the plants to the levels of radiation faced on a 380,000 kilometre journey to the moon. If we put them into the end of a very big facility, a very big piece of machinery that shoots beams essentially, we'll be able to see what the equivalent radiation of four days, eight days and even to five years on the moon. The team is in the final stages of testing a biomodule that will be sent to the moon next year. It will be the first iteration of a system that is hoped will one day allow astronauts to grow plants and food on other celestial bodies. We've done a lot of experiments with that on the International Space Station for microgravity uh, to see how, how living things respond in zero G. But this is uh, an opportunity for them to look at one six G lunar gravity. Is it different? Does it promote growth? Does it inhibit growth? The 500 gram biomodule has everything to keep the plants warm and hydrated and the vacuum of space out. So inside that 500 grams, we have to pack in our, our seeds and plants, of course, which are in themselves fairly light, which is good, but also a camera, uh, some sensors, all the electronics to actually monitor them. The biomodule will be strapped to the outside of a lander from American company Intuitive Machines. The two companies have been working together towards launch for the past year, with world-leading science drawing them together. It is a way to look beyond just what happens to the humans and how do the things that we also coexist with, how are they going to behave on other planets? other celestial bodies. This will be the first real test of, of what that looks like. Launch is currently scheduled for March or April 2026. To eventually grow, you know, gardens, greenhouses full of plants on the moon for future sustained human presence on the moon, uh, we need to first make sure that we're tackling the problems of really as basic as can we just get something to survive the trip there. So this is a small step. Space is done in lots of small steps. A small step? for all plant kind. Jared and Can, ABC News.